Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. And yes, I believe in the Bitcoin revolution. I wanted to take a day off today, but I didn't choose the right day because my mailbox and my DMs are full with people being afraid of the market crashing to zero. So I decided let's make a short video tonight so that people um, understand my view as well. Um, I'm going to try to keep it short because, you know, I really need a day off because tomorrow I need doing another meetup and the day after another meetup and then in a couple of days another meetup and then I need to go um, to Dortmund and then I need to go to Monaco. So I really need some time, but I'm going to make a video because a lot of you don't understand what is happening. Now let's jump. Bam. <laughs> Here, four hours. Yes, that one makes you freak out. Look, bam, the short was given by the Bitcoin uh, family bam bam indicator over there already. Um, huge short here, it paused, it went sideways. It never came above the yellow stepping line, so bam, it continued. Uh, very big short. Yes, um, if you would have taken that, you would now have a 17% profit without leverage guys uh, the yellow and the blue never became green so there was a sign to stay in that short uh, the bam bam indicator going downwards we haven't been this low that often guys we are at the level of 18 with the white line we have never been if we look back to the left we're gonna pull this up this line even longer look this white line has never been that close in a very very long time so in my opinion there will be i can go back further as i want there will be a moment that we bounce and the moment i think is around the corner uh, we could go a little bit lower but in the short term i think there will be a bounce and then um, let's see what happens now if we zoom out to the gaussian channel on the five day chart and the five day chart means every day uh, every candle is five days. We can see that we entered that red area. We talked about it many times in the videos. Uh, the last two times we entered that red area, that wasn't positive. The two times before in the bear market of 2018, we came down, we tried to come up, and when we broke that red line to the bottom, we fell well, with 50%. So from the bottom red line of the Gaussian channel, channel we fell 50% down. This over here, I don't consider this as a real Gaussian channel drop because this was this, this COVID dump, let's say, uh, let's call it like that, where the market crashed very quickly, but we bounced uh, up again without even having been um, in the red, we already broke down. Now, now at the moment, we can see the same happening over here. This is the Gaussian channel. We are in the red area. We have been talking about it. If we break the bottom line, we told each other, we could dip. If we would dip 50%, we would dip all the way to 20K. I don't see that happening at the moment, uh, but the charts are telling us that that could be a dip if we would dip the same way we did in 2018 to 20K. That would be down below the previous autumn high. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit more so that you understand that I don't think that this will be happening. The very positive part you need to understand that is after the Gaussian channel turns green again, that is the best moment in your lifetime to buy Bitcoin. So after red comes green and whenever you buy in those green areas, you will ride that next bull run or the next huge run to the top of the next all time high. So be aware, always look at the Gaussian channel. Now in the weekly, we can see that we are creating a lower low. This dotted line is now lower. We were waiting for a higher low and a higher high. Now, now it's playing out different. Um, it is a higher low over here. This is now the low, a high, a low, a lower high, a lower low, maybe again a lower high. So I expect a bounce. If we go a little bit lower, maybe a bounce back so that we have another lower high. Um, the line that we need to keep an eye on is that red line here. Um, this line is a 200 weekly moving average. Sorry for the dot. I will close the door. So that is the 200 weekly um, moving average. If we fall, we could fall to that line. We have been falling to the line many times before in the previous cycles. Over there and over there. We went even a little bit down below it. 
but that is the main line of support. And that main line of support, look over here as well, is at the moment, to be very clear, at almost 22,000 US dollar. So even if we would dip, crash, worst case scenario, to 22,000 US dollar, we would be still be seven times higher than the 3K one year or two years ago when it thought many people to buy in. So yes, it is a dip. Yes, you can consider it as a crash, but if that 22K would become the new bottom, just imagine what happens after having gone sideways for some time then. And that is what I want to tell you. Also, what I want to show you on this chart is we have never seen before one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red candles in a row. The only time we had this was somewhere in 2014 where we had six red candles in a row. I can go back to that period. I think that period was, let's see here, one, two, three, oh, no, there's a green one in between, four or five. So the, we have never seen this. That's 2018, Didi, come on, wake up. Oh, I'm a little bit tired, sorry for that, guys. Ah, here is this area. Here in 2014, this area over here, one, two, three, four, five, six red candles in a row, six weekly red candles in a row. Last time was in August 2014, all the way to September 2014. And then we got a green relief candle. Yes, we went lower, but at least we bounced a little bit. Okay, so for the people that are now in a trade that think that they will be liquidated, that we can't fall down only, we will also go up somewhere in the future again. Now, I know, Didi, you're not helping. This is still, I'm still freaking out. I'm still freaking out. Yes, I know. I understand. You're freaking out. We could go to 28K. We could go to 22K. Yeah? But let me go further into the charts and the monthly. Now, I told you weeks ago, if it is not already months ago. Yes, it was months ago. Guys, this chart is already months old. And on this chart was this text. It's very important that we stay above the blue 21 MA line and break above that orange 12 MA line if you look at the previous cycles. If we break the blue line, a 50% drop happened in the previous two times. This chart is already months old. And what are we doing? We are at the moment breaking that blue line. This candle broke it. This candle will close in like 22 days, but it is already touching the bottom of the logarithmic growth curve. And also here we have that 200 weekly moving average coming up. So this green line for me is the, for me now, the ultimate support on the short term is a 28k. If we dip and break this line, I think 28k would be a level. That is the level that we were fighting here. We wick to there, we wick to there, we wick. That's one, two, three, four, five months. We've been spending around 28K. That could be the level to uh, wick to. Um, but the logarithmic growth curve is also always a support level. And that one is around 32,000 US dollar. Still freaking out. I understand that. So let's go a little bit further. Now, this is the completely original stock to flow model of plan B. So this is the original one, which means... This is the first one he ever made that told us that the average of this cycle would be this blue line 65k. It was then adjusted to the new model model at 100k. I know that everybody knows that white line. Now the original model was 65k. So what if this model is still the correct model and we broke above it a little bit? Maybe we bounce again a little bit above it and we come down below it. All short term. Let's say you buy Bitcoin now at 32K. Let's say you buy a little bit more at 28K. Let's say you buy a little bit more at 22K and uh, you dollar cost average into Bitcoin. If we would keep following that beautiful blue line of the original model, that one is slowly increasing to 70K. And then in the next halving period, we will again increase to that next top level around 600K. So that would not be the million, but that would be even 600K. If you believe that Bitcoin is doing this, and we'll keep doing this in the next cycle, then buying a 30K or a 22K is not bad. That's a good moment to buy. That's an investment for the long term that will uh, multiply our capital by a few times in a couple of years. In 2024, we can be between 100,000 US dollars and 600,000 US dollars. So that is how I look at the market. Uh, I will let the bot do the short term freaking out and the short term stressing and buying the dips. And the, you know, that is my bot. 
and it makes me the 3 to 4 percent a month i'm happy with that that's 30 to 40 percent a year now the rsi does um, look also like it's bottoming guys do, do you see many times in history um that we become completely red on this bottom no and if you look at the price chart of bitcoin every time we came this reddish area in the down uh, in the bottom so every time we became this red area in the bottom um, that was 15 16 that was just before the huge bull run that was 2019 that was before we went to 14k and now indeed bam all the way up to 60k so when we turn red on that rsi that is not a warning of you you need to sell this is a warning wow we are reaching the bottom uh, please buy now the video is becoming long again sorry for that but i i want to make you a little bit more um, rest in your head so now let's jump into the next one bam over here the realized price the realized price is at twenty four thousand us dollar which means if you look back in history we have dipped down below that realized price a few times uh, but that was also every time an indication that we were at the bottom so if we would dip to 24k or a little bit below it that would again be in my opinion a indication we would be at the bottom now do we have any more cool charts yes then we have this one over here this is the rational route and um, this one is telling us um, the illiquid supply per halving now this now becomes interesting because this one is telling me if you look at the previous two halvings the yellow one is the first then the darker yellow one is the second and now this is the third one in all these halvings and um, we saw the illiquid supply going down you see it, we it kept going down now this pinkish one keeps going up which means people are huddling their bitcoins longer and more bitcoins so they are, don't fear the market as most of you are now in your head like ah oh, so they just huddle because you can see that the liquid supply the supply in my hardware wallets in my ledger and everything that supply is increasing instead of decreasing and mostly when that illiquid supply increases and the price is decreasing there will be a supply shock and the supply shock again will lead into an increasing price so that is the very positive part today and i want to share with you and the most positive part is this one over here if you look at the market yes we can say to every each other uh but there is a war dd and the war and there is an economical crisis and there is a flu and there is anything yes it is all there but there is also inflation and if we look at inflation and how many countries are experiencing huge inflations and i'm talking about huge inflations i'm talking about like 1.8 billion people in 52 countries that have huge hyperinflations of 12 percent 13 percent look at the number 14 percent 35 percent curious extent zimbabwe 90 like these numbers of inflation this is an indication that the monetary system is not healthy and now let me tell you one more thing uh, before I will leave you guys. And it is that there is a new monetary system being built. And it is this one over here. And this monetary system that at the moment is being built is called Bitcoin. And uh, do you know what it means? It means that there is not an infinite supply like there is in euros and dollars but there is a finite supply which means there is only 21 million bitcoins at the end guys and that will lead to the following in my opinion uh, it will lead in my opinion to this because if we look at the bitcoin price and the total total supply and circulation we know that the first halving we reached a very beautiful amount of around 10 million bitcoins in, in in supply and now we are increasing the supply but do you see what the price is doing the price is also going up because people we have only 21 million bitcoins in the total the demand is growing increasingly from retail investors to institutional investors to billionaires and to countries so the price will be growing up all the time in my opinion till we reach 21 million bitcoins that is why i believe in the bitcoin revolution it is the best money we ever had. million bitcoins it will take us to 2140 till the last bitcoin will be mined and believe me the demand will not go down but the demand will go up the more countries will adopt the bitcoin standard the more companies that will adopt the bitcoin standard the more people like you and me and stores and bars that i 
find in the world and convert into accepting bitcoins and uh, will adopt that bitcoin standard that will create demand and when the demand keeps increasing and the offer keeps the same and growing very steadily all the way up to 21 million bitcoin with halvings built in so every four years less bitcoins come to the market i think that bitcoin will go up and at the end will be giving you the deflation that you need. You will be able to buy more groceries in the future if you huddle your Bitcoins and buy more Bitcoins than if you huddle money. You have seen it happening in the last two years. You could have had 10K on your bank account. You can buy less, less, less. If you would have huddled 10K in Bitcoins two years ago, you would have been able to buy more, more, more inflation against deflation now that was my uh, monday not planned video i hope you still did enjoy it and i hope you helped you a little bit with not freaking out and um, if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell, and leave a comment what do you think about the video what do you think about the charts oh shit 16 minutes sorry for that i wish you a beautiful monday and see you tomorrow again bam